Hello Aquarius. Welcome to another love reading. Thank you so much for being here. It's going to focus on who or what is coming towards you in love and what you need to know about where it's all headed. As always, this is a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Aquarius watching 100%. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. If this doesn't resonate for you at all, that's okay. Just check out your playlist. I'll have it linked in the description. No, I always say that I'm going to have it linked in the description box. I mean pinned in the comments. <laughs> all right. Spirits, angels, guides. Who or what is coming towards Aquarius? High honor, number 25. So if I remember correctly, this is someone like in a position of authority or something like that. Oh, never mind. It means trophies, medals, honor, success. The significator is on their way up socially or professionally. Yeah, so it's almost like someone who is going to be in a in a position of authority but this card can indicate achievement recognition promotion so i'm thinking of the six of wands here and i'm sorry if i'm like all over the place when it comes to this card but literally this deck there are one two three four the so two to three messages that are different interpretations of this card by different people <laughs> So this could be graduating from something, solving problems, success. So I'm just going to say that this is a card about success, someone that is successful where, you know, there's some sort of recognition. There is um, an overcoming of challenges because that's what the Six of Wands is about. Okay, let's see. Anything else? For Aquarius what do they need to know all of the decks that I'm using my uh, information on my personal readings my book love tarot made easy my website all of that will be in the description box who or what is coming towards Aquarius in love who or what's coming towards them Moving forward, movement ending cycles. You're moving forward into a new chapter. Interesting. It's almost like someone overcame a difficult cycle and is ready to move forward towards success here. I'm thinking of like the fool here. Who or what? Oh my God, hold on, that's way too many. let's try that again who or what is coming towards Aquarius in love spirit who or what is coming towards them express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture this could be um, some sort of communication where I, I always think of like the page of cups with this card someone expressing how they feel So this is about a person that you are dealing with in like in terms of like um like a partner. I don't think this is career. Basically what I'm saying is I don't think this is a career um related. I feel like this is someone who is ready to move forward to express how they feel. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Who or what is coming towards Aquarius spirit who or what is coming towards Aquarius who or what is coming towards Aquarius in love oh wow we have justice Libra energy who or what is coming towards Aquarius we have the Eight of Pentacles. And the Page of Wands, beautiful. So there's definitely some sort of message coming in. 
Um, I have the Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You could work with this person in like an official building. Some of you work with this person in an official building. Others of you, this is someone that wants to make things right with justice or justice is here to allow someone to, you know, to allow someone to finally have what's fair to them. Let's see. Tell me about justice. What is justice doing here? For Aquarius. Seven of Cups. Tell me about the justice card. Ten of Cups. So I feel like there's many options here for happiness that will be presented to you. Five of Swords. I feel like, okay, so this is what I'm getting with the Five of Swords, Seven of Cups. It's almost like someone's afraid to choose the wrong option. Because the wrong option might lead to failure of some sort. This could be you or your person that's thinking this way. What's the Seven of Cups about? What are these options about? What's the Seven of Cups about? Strength, Leo energy. What's the Seven of Cups about? The Hangman. So someone needs to have, basically, um, this is about courage uh, to deal with something that they already know is an issue. I have the Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. So, okay, hold on, because my mind is going a mile a minute here. What's behind this? Death card, Scorpio energy. Okay. Whatever this is with the Justice card, it's because something has not been quite right. Maybe there's been a lot of drama or there's been uh, situations where you feel like you're getting nowhere. You or your person feel like you're getting nowhere. Um, but I feel like in the back of your mind, you want happiness, fulfillment, a family, perhaps. Um... I think whatever choice this is, you know what you have to do about it. Basically, this is someone who already knows what choice they should be making, but the right choice is the hardest one. The right choice might even cause more conflict, more consequences to deal with, something like that. But I feel like spirit is, it could even cause an ending of some sort with the death card. But I feel like, yeah, and then they're King of Wands after that. So I feel like Spirit is saying that this is what someone needs to do in order to have justice, in order to rebalance the scales, in order to have this Ten of Cups. It's going to require some sort of work or effort with the Eight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. For Aquarius, please, Spirit. Some of you are dealing with, see? There's a death card again. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign, maybe a Leo. Let's see if they showed up here. Can I get one more for the Eight of Pentacles? Three of Swords, yep. Can I get one more for the Eight of Pentacles? The ending will be difficult and painful, but I feel like someone needs to move forward here in order to have their success. There's the Knight of Wands, yes. Someone needs to make a move, but it's going to be difficult. That's why it's going to be difficult. Whether this is you or your person, there needs to be a change in your life in order to get what you truly want, in order to go after what you truly want. And once again, you need to be bold. This person needs to be bold. This person needs to be a go-getter. They need to take action. They need to take risks. Bottom of the deck, I have the King of Wands. Exactly King of Wands energy. So I feel like this is someone that's uh, working on how to make this happen. Uh, thinking, you know, the Hangman, Seven of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. How is this going to work out? How difficult will this be? Because I feel like someone will be affected 
or it'll just be a difficult um, ending here. So why is the page of wands here? What's this page of wands about? Page of cups, beautiful. Remember when I said page of cups with express your love? There it is. This is someone that wants to take that first step to express how they feel, maybe express, you know, an apology here. Can I get one more for the page of wands? Five of cups. I, you know, and it, I feel like something could have happened between you because there's regrets here. Three of cups. It's like someone's thinking about the past. They could be apologizing for a past mistake. Maybe a mistake that dealt like um, was with another person here because I have the three of swords, three of cups. Um, I feel like someone just wants to meet up and talk to you. Tell me about this three of cups. Yeah, knight of cups. This is someone that wants to tell you how they feel. And they're like, let's talk. Um, I want to get back together. I want to reunite. I want to meet up, whatever the case may be. They want to tell you that they care about you, you know? That's what the Page of Cups, Knight of Cups is. I'm serious about how I feel. The Knight of Cups is even the card where someone can say, I love you for the first time, or admit that they love you, or something like that. Um, I feel like this person has regrets over whatever happened in the past, or might be thinking of past mistakes. Maybe they might even be missing you here with the Five of Cups. And they want to tell you that. This Knight of Cups is like, I feel your person's energy. So let's see, who is this person? What, what can we know about this person? I'm going to use my Stellar Rainbow Oracle deck. Spirit, what can you tell me about this person that's interested in Aquarius or that Aquarius is dealing with? Oops. I don't know why I can't get it together. It's shuffling. Spirit, what can you tell me about this person? What are they thinking or feeling? What can you tell me about this person? Gemini, ruled by Mercury. So this could be somebody that um, sees you as their other half. Um, this could be somebody that cares about you once again, or they could have Gemini in their chart. Let's see, what else can we know about this person? This one, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this person could have um, Earth in their chart. I also think about, um, what are the qualities of an earth earth sign um grounded stable loyal that's how i thought about these things when i was designing the deck so once again this person could be uh, our earth sign a gemini have that in their chart or they're thinking about stability they're thinking about you know there may be very um stable energy dependable energy hard-working energy that's what the earth signs some qualities of earth signs with the knight of cups this person has a lot of genuine feelings i could tell you that much and with the earth sign card and the gemini card it's almost like they you are their their person you are their other half you are what they want a union so far that's what i see Okay, so let's see. Where is all of this headed? So what's next here for Aquarius? I was going to say Libra just now. What's next for Aquarius and this other person? What's happening next, Spirit? Eight of Swords. What's next? What's next for Aquarius and this other person? I keep wanting to say Libra. The magician, okay, someone's manifesting, making something happen. 
and the four of wands wow stability um happiness and then the eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck again so with the eight of swords there's someone that's maybe overthinking or fearful uh i don't think that's going to hold someone back though because i have the magician right after that <laughs> so it's almost like you know they're maybe gonna take some sort of action even if they're scared right let's see they could also feel stuck and perhaps they have to move forward from something we, we've seen that message also in this reading tell me more about the eight of swords what's this eight of swords about the moon pisces energy so someone's scared of what they don't know let's see what else about the eight of swords six of swords yeah this is about someone that needs to break free or leave something behind leave the fear behind leave a situation behind in the past um i feel like someone needs to get over their fear of uh the past coming back to haunt them or something like that i also can see this person that's fearful about breaking free because they don't know where this path leads this could blow up in their face or this could be successful it could go either way can i get one more for this eight of swords the hermit yeah again with a lot of thinking virgo energy thinking wondering planning this is someone that is probably thinking about how you know their next steps i think this is someone that kind of has to give themselves a pep talk <laughs> i have the temperance card at the bottom of the deck so maybe this is someone that's thinking planning how to bring something back into balance how to make something happen here with the magician but there's a little bit of uh, overthinking here or you know fear of failure fear of the unknown Maybe this person doesn't know how you feel. Tell me about the magician. Wow, Knight of Pentacles. Wow, we have the Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles showed up. And the Chariot. Holy crap. Cancer Energy. That's that Honor card. This is someone that w wants to move forward towards success. I feel like this is someone that wants to make you an offer of some sort. Can I get one more for the magician? Wow, nine of pentacles. Yeah, they're off. They want their offer to be an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> I think they um they admire you. They desire you they you're attractive to them because of what you are able to make happen for yourself maybe you take care of yourself whether that's like your looks or you know maybe you're very smart dedicated hard-working and they're coming they're coming forward there this is someone that's definitely coming forward and manifesting something stable here not knight of pentacles nine of pentacles the nine of pentacles leads to the ten of pentacles and here we have the four of wands tell me more about this four of wands look at that the empress growth manifestation creativity love tell me more about the four of wands three of wands fall out Can I get one more for the Four of Wands? The Fool, look at that. Yeah, this is something new, something exciting, something that maybe someone wanting to start over, have things be like a clean slate. But with the Three of Wands, I'm also getting, yeah, and then the Temperance card again. They're willing to take their time. There might be, you know, some time needed to develop. 
this connection again or to develop it period if, it, if you haven't been in a connection with this person before but i feel like someone this is what someone wants this is what they're waiting for is a new beginning uh, a beginning that leads to abundance uh creation manifestation having their dreams become reality um having a happy ha a happy family a stable home domestic bliss that's what the four of wands is about this is what someone's willing to create or wants to create and they want to have this with you you know they want it all with you it's basically what i'm getting here and they've been thinking really hard about how to make that happen you know coming forward with an offer an offer that they took their time bringing to you with the knight of pentacles this is the slowest night. They take their time because they want to do things right the first time. And they feel like, you know, with the Nine of Pentacles, they feel like you are worth it. Um, you are worth all of this effort. You are worth all of this time that they're putting in. Um, this is someone who is very genuine with how they feel. This is not someone that manipulates. This is not someone that emotionally takes advantage this is not somebody who plays with your emotions that's not what this person would do you know i feel like this is someone who regardless of how this ends they're going to at least try to give it a shot i'll leave it here thank you so much for watching aquarius i hope this resonated for you i hope you enjoyed the reading uh, if you did, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing, leaving a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you to everyone who takes the time to do that. It really helps support the channel um, and help us grow and show people these videos. And yeah, I hope you are all having a great rest of the month and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.